Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. and welcome back to my 2022 Christmas home tour. So this year we are going through the living room, the dining room, the kitchen, and a little bit of the master bedroom. There's not too much back there, but you always have to do a little bit just so at least it's Christmas when you're going to bed. Not as much waking up because who wants to wake up? But either way, we've done a few things the same and a few things different this year going with the same blush and sea foam palette as last year's. I really liked it. Plus some of the things that I use, I want to use each year. Like I'm not, I, I'm not knocking it. Y'all do whatever makes you happy, but I am not the kind of person that wants to get rid of things I love every single year. I want to use them. So I'm just going to change maybe the way I use them or add in some new things out with the old and with the new change things around. So, I actually have my big tree. I redid the same with my Mary's Angels ornaments as last year. My rose gold tree got a bit of an upgrade. It has almost entirely resin ornaments this year. Every single year I've just added more resin ornaments to that tree, trying to find a balance of something I like. And this year I made something like 20 big ornaments for it in different ways. So I will show you all of those. And we're just going to kind of go from room to room and show you how everything turned out. I really hope you like it. I know I really like it. Um, and you might have seen my decorate for Christmas video with me. Um, I just figured I'd put on the uh, camera and let y'all come and hang out with me while I decorated. And I kept telling you that this swan that I've had for years reminded me of something and I could not figure out what. And it's my new big swan. Obviously, I am drawn to these swans, but this little guy is actually a photo prop for puppies, but I just tucked him in by the tree so I wanted both swans together. I thought that was so cute. So, swans aside, let's jump into Christmas. Come on, girls, you wanna help? All right, so starting right inside the front door, we have my little secretary. I always decorate this with my easy, my no so gnomes and the ones for Christmas. I don't know, either the Christmas or the Valentine's Day gnomes are my favorites. Mainly because I love these rose gold picked nose, picked nose, oh my God. They're rose gold berry picks that I use for noses. And I just think they're so cute. And then I always add a little sign to my tight trays to make them seasonal. So this year I made this reindeer are better than people. These are little UV resin reindeer that I made. I attached them to my, my sign and then I added <laughs> reindeer are better than people, which is an SVG I made. So you can grab that SVG for free on that blog post. And you can make that sign if you like. I will link both tutorials down below because I did two, one for the UV reindeer and one for the sign. But once, once you're in, it is, whoop, there's a chair there. Once you're in, it is into Christmas land. So as you know, I have two trays in the living room this year. The first one my rose gold tree. I have my little mailbox and postage stamps and my Santa letter to Santa sign. I must have made this sign like four years ago maybe. These I made last year. I will link to those tutorials as well but they turn out so cute. I just this I put up every year and I made these to go with it last year. The tree right next door has Resin blanks that we poured with resin. Resin hummingbirds we poured with resin. Resin snowflakes in all different shapes. My favorite, these are acrylic blanks that we poured resin backdrops on and then added vinyl. They look so cute. I did different ones. So this one is, girls are playing. You girls having fun? Christmas fun? This one is marble, and then we did some glitter gradients. We did lots of fun things. 
And last but not least, we did flowers from the garden in resin. I have a whole video on this tree and then of course a video tutorial for each of the resin ornaments. So I will make a master list down below. Swan, my bitty bitty, hey bitty bitty. You the star of the show this year? Every year. She's such a sweet girl. Simple little trees. I made these resin gnomes last year. They turned out so cute. And a we wish you a Merry Christmas sign. All resin. When in doubt, resin time, y'all. Main tree. And this is my, oh, this is a beautiful tree. It's flocked. And I have all of my pretty, pretty, pretty Mary's Angels ornaments on it. So these... When I was a little girl, my mom took my brother and I to pick out a series each. She has frosty friends. I, of course, picked these angels. Luckily, my tastes have not changed since I was five. I still love pastel angels. <laughs> uh, and my brother actually picked out elves. His tastes have changed a bit. He's no longer thrilled with his elves. To be fair, he's not really a big Christmas dude. So, you know. I definitely got the bug. Then we have our stockings. And I need to add... Oh, my name got flipped around. I accidentally <laughs> messed that up when I was opening the door earlier. I have Toast, which is two of my girls. Lily, me, and Biddy. And of course... My sweet Lily cat, you guys might remember she passed away last year, which was awful. I've had her since I was 16. So over half my life, half my life at this point. And uh, I have my two new babies. They're almost a year old. Princess, princess, say hi. She can't, she's right there. She's just ignoring us. And Lady, who apparently is under the dining room table. Hi, Ladybug. Y'all have not ever met all my dogs in one place. Here they are. Princess, so she's a black and tan. Yes, dapple piebald. Lady is a shaded cream. Cinnamon, cinnamon toast crunch, is our black and cream. Dapple, yes, you're a dapple brindle. Sugar, my sweet sugar is a cream pie ball and biddy it's not a dachshund at all i've got biddy for myself as my graduation present from college so i've had her almost as long as lily and she's a yorkie that's it that's enough dogs for several houses yep they all live with they all live with me all right I also have a fish tank, but that's not what I'm bringing you over here to see. Bringing you over here to see. My new little mailbox. So I made this with the same resin postage stamp and cut files from the mailbox across the way, except it is a smaller version. I made this last year. I made one for me and one in red and green for my mom. Wedding pictures and my fish tank. <laughs> All right, you ready to show them the, uh, the dining room biddy? Did you find a ball? She loves balls, yeah. Good girls. So the dining room is almost exactly the same as last year. I just love this gingerbread house and the plates. So these are oh, so pretty, you guys. I just can't see not putting them out every year. They're just my colors. There's Santa. There's, you know, the whole gang. They're Fitz and Floyd, so they're good quality. If they had rose gold edges instead of gold edges, they would be 
perfect, but of course, Fitz and Floyd didn't do rose gold back in the day, so. We also have my nativity over on the pie safe. And then that leads into the kitchen where we did a little bit different this year. And so just my trees, we did trees and snow globe-esque cloches. Let's take a look. I didn't even have to go buy any of these glass cloches. I'm just obsessed with glass containers of all kinds. And uh, luckily, Lily Cat never messed with them, but we may have that problem in the future. Who knows? They don't usually go on the island. Usually, these two go on bookshelves in my craft room. This one goes on top of a shelf in the bathroom. I keep bath bombs in it. These two little ones, one back there hold supplies so you know I actually have a Cricut cut file for this guy I will link that below and then we did decorate the whole three-tier tray with these adorable little houses from the Target dollar spot I just love how it turned out I love sitting at the island and eating lunch most days so it is a very festive little spot for that all right ready to take us down the hall biddy princess last but not least on our holiday tour we have curls fighting on the rug and the master bedroom All right, down the hallway of darkness. It's always so dark in this hallway. And the last room that's decorated is the bedroom. Have a Christmas tree and our little gnomes. Little gnomes everywhere. Have a few puppy dogs, a few Christmas trees. I have a few gnomes and trees here as well. Just a little bit here. But it's so nice, especially at night, to be able to sit with the tree on and just enjoy. Oh, I hope you guys liked this year's Christmas tour. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. I will leave links down below for last year's tour, the year before that, last couple, last couple years in this house, and of course, years before that. So I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.